So my dude hits me up and he's like, hey man, you trying to go to this barbecue with me? I was like, uh, you ain't saying nothing about no barbecue. I am on the way. But what he forgot to mention was this was a black family reunion barbecue. My ass looked like a star in the midnight sky. Uh, when he when we got there, he started introducing me to everybody. I got the weirdest damn questions I have ever been asked in my entire life. It seemed like half the women asked me, uh, what's your credit score? Uh, worse than yours. And all the dudes kept asking me, you got any sisters or cousins or aunts? Uh, no. Fresh out. Fresh out. Then he introduced me to his smart-ass grandpa. He was like, Grandpa, this is Andrew. Andrew, this is Grandpa. He looked up at my buddy and he was like, you know he white, right? I was like, uh, you know you black, right? He was like, you know, you know you snowflake white, right? I was like, uh, you know you look like a skeleton wrapped in black tape, right? He was like, damn white boy, I like you. I like you. Troy, I like this white boy. And at a black family reunion, you're doing one of three things. You are either playing dominoes, dancing, or eating. That's it. One of them three. You gotta be doing. I walked up to the domino table. They said, like, get your white ass out of here. You don't know how to play no damn dominoes. I was like, touche, touche. And where I was the only non-family member there, all the girls were trying to booty dance up on me. Why do black girls' asses have to be that damn big? Shit, what do you need all that ass for? I had two of them booty dancing on me at one time. I was up against the wall... These damn girls was bringing my feet off the ground with that ass. And I was loving every minute of it. I have learned why white people call it cooking out and black people call it barbecuing. Because cooking out, you got your hot dogs and your hamburgers. White people, we have perfected the hot dog and hamburger. But the black people have perfected the barbecue. I'm talking about they put barbecue on everything. They put it on ribs, steak, chicken... Fuck, they put it on their cereal. If they, I, I guarantee they put it on their cereal. And one damn thing I've learned about a black family reunion barbecue is whoever has the best damn tater salad is the real MVP. Because I got asked, uh, how's your tater salad? I'm like, which one? And they sure ain't short on the sharings because I had six plates. I had plate on top of plate on top of plate. Now, but all they give a shit, how's that tater salad? Which one? I don't care if you're white, black, green, brown. I don't care what color you are. You have not lived life till you've went to a, a black family reunion. I had the best damn time of my life there. The best damn time. Everybody kept telling me, you better bring your white ass here next year. And me and his damn grandpa, we argued all day long. We argued all damn day long. But right before I left, his ass was like, uh, you're welcome at my house any damn time. So you better bring your snowflake ass back here next year. That barbecue was six months ago. Six months ago. Me and, uh, Papa T, we talk on the phone almost every day. I go to his house at least once a week to eat dinner. We go to lunch. I take him to his doctor's appointments. Uh, I'm part of the family now. So, uh, Papa T, if nobody else loves you, you know I love you. My ass better be up in that wheel.